Hey guys, it is Sunday, September 13th, and we are actually gonna go and get Malachi his football boots, AKA his cleats, um, and then we're gonna go see David's dad. Nice it is you guys if I open this it feels amazing outside so daddy promised to take us to the world's end um hi y'all want to see my son what the rastaman hey baby rasta mouse you need to rasta stop baby. that he's cool give, give him give him to Come David on. okay Give them to David. Let me get my cell phone and let's oh, peace out. Let's yeah. bees out. Let's bees out this piece. And let's go. And we're off, guys. It's so nice out right now. It is gorgeous out. Make sure they fit. It's so nice out. The breeze is just gorgeous. Like this is how I want summer to be. You know, not like scorching hot, not cold. Just perfect. Perfect combination of cold and hot. This is the park that's by our house. It's, it's huge. I know, little mouse. I know. Yeah. Like the, I like the houses over here. to go look at Indy Bindi so cute in his outfit look at mouth have his little socks here uh, I have camera duty camera duty sad days we are going to the town center I'm gonna be going to a store to get Malachi's boots that's where we're walking to so it's just a really nice day to like go walking because it's so nice out you can tell it's nice because I don't have a jacket on you guys and look at Indy Bindi sleep in the sports direct y'all they paying prime up in here some kind of color what color do you want you have to get black yeah it has to be black oh it has to be black it has to. It took us four hours to find the upstairs. I'm just kidding. It took us a good 20 minutes to find it, right? I don't know anything about football shoes, so David's still not handling the business. You excited to play football? No. It sucks. He's not a sports fan, guys. He's just not. Rugby, but football he likes rugby, but he's not really into football. After this, we're just gonna walk around for a little bit and then go see David's dad. I don't have a sausage and cheese and steak bake, please. Well, he can get his own, can he? Do you want to split one? Split. I want my own. Okay. What's bean and sausage? Sausage, beans. Ew. My split in the pizza. Can I have this one? This one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah can you cut it to two thirds or a third? That's so you can bring it out. Please, please. I don't see why he doesn't want his own. We're in Greg's. What is this? Sort of like a. Greg's Bakery. What is it, Greg's Bakery? I don't have my own. Can I? Yeah, sorry, well, that will take two. Sorry, can we take another one? I don't want it cut now, sorry. I did, what did you say? Yeah, we'll take two now, so that one there as well. Two pieces. Yeah, right, yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Okay. He's taking the split one. Do you want a drink? 
I'm gonna ask her for a cup of ice. We can sit and eat a little picnic. We're gonna have a little picnic downtown town center. Yeah. Do you do ice? Yeah, boy. I love Angel, you guys. He's yeah, amazing. Boy. Yeah, boy. We're at David's dad's house. I, I guess we're going to the courtyard. Yeah. So we're going to a courtyard to have drinks. The view from David's. Plenty chicken. Plenty chicken. view. Nice little courtyard. I love the rooftops. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Shall we get plenty chicken? Come on. Do we play the card? Hello. Sometimes it feels like I'm all alone. Sometimes life just ain't enough. In the lemonade, yeah, there you go. Yeah, water there. So, I am back home. I'm actually making dinner. Um, so I'm actually making smothered pork chops with mashed potato. I know people are gonna say, Isn't your husband a chef? Why isn't he cooking? He does this all the time, you guys, but I think he likes when I cook because. I introduce different dishes to him that he's never had before. But I'm not gonna do it like a traditional smother pork chops. It's just gonna be pork chops um, kind of browned and then put in gravy with mashed potatoes and sweet corn. If y'all wanna see the recipe, I mean, keep on watching, right? So I'm gonna cut up some potatoes and put them to boil. I'm gonna cut up these potatoes, y'all. All right, let's get this popping. You said leave the big ones for chips. Yeah, I'll take the He needs so french fries, y'all. Uh, look at the chef at work, you guys. You know what? This is why I don't want you to do it because you see how it's just going everywhere? I'll do it, David. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your help, David. Quick tip, right? Do it wrong. You might be able to ask to do it again. <laughs> I don't like him. Like, get out of here.
just put the corn in David, okay, so you're supposed to put white, ground white. Ground white pepper, you the flex then. I like the flex. Uh, get away from me. Gosh. Did <laughs> you let me cook my food? Dodo head. Now you play too much. Take it out, yeah. Yeah. Green and brown. You give that pan really, really hot. Put some butter in. I did put butter. Burn. Do you depends where you put the butter in. So I'm gonna just chill by the window. Cause the breeze. The breeze. I know everybody out here smelling my pork chops. Yes, it's my pork chops. So David's trying to get the, the pork chops a little bit darker. He's telling me a tip. He said, "Get the pan really hot, right, baby." And then put oil in there, and then butter, right? When the butter starts all smoked, it'll burn the ones that's the heat. He's in his element, guys. What you should do is put oil, or oil in your steak, leave it down, and when you turn it, then put your butter in. That's what I did. Yeah. Before your, your baby would go. Food is done, you guys, and I'm just gonna add my free food. Free food.